Hello everyone, this is Mark Brandon Harris, Mark BH70 on YouTube. It is August 7th, 2010. I thought I'd show my garden. This is the garden in July. Uh, you can garden by the cycles of the moon. They bring the water to the surface at the right time. You plant them usually at a um, few days before the new moon, and the new moon will increase the gravity because it's aligned with the, the sun and the moon are aligned. Or I think the full there's something about the full moon too um, that you can use uh, something like that. I'd have to look it up. You can look that up on the internet. Gardening by the moon, and you don't have to water them. However, I did put I did use too small of a, a pot one time. I did use too small of a pot for one of the tomatoes. The other tomatoes are doing fine, but um, the water goes in from the rain, and you don't have to water it and um, the seeds will grow just fine. I did it last year. I may have done it the year before that. I think I just did it last year. And uh, works very well. On the porch I've had trouble growing, you know, very hot uh, gardening plants like uh, cucumbers and, and um, the zucchini and stuff like that and squash. But you put the seed in the ground at the right moon period. I think I've talked about this before. I had have another video about this. Make sure the pot's big enough. That was a mistake I made this year. The pot wasn't big enough for the tomato for one one group of the tomatoes, and they started turning red when they were little little beads, little little they like little berries. Um, but it works. You don't have to water it. Just put the seed in the ground. Saves the trouble and the and the. Um, The uh, vegetables are not as, as not as aqueous. They're more you know they're more solid vegetables, and to be to keep them from being too watery, and it works just fine. But you get a big enough pot for tomatoes and stuff like that, and the and things like coriander, which I have right here, coriander will grow well in a smaller pot. So on my porch, you want to seed though, and so. Um, it died after that, so I needed to cut the seed off to continue to produce coriander or continue to produce uh, cilantro, which comes from the coriander plant. Uh, coriander and cilantro are interchangeable. Uh, the seed is called coriander. <clears throat> the leaf is called cilantro. But um, you know, you need to clip that before it goes to seed, and I did get some seeds from that. And um, so you need to do that. Here is the dill, and the dill was the same thing. Once it seeded, and I got the seeds from it, which is good, I didn't get any more leaves from it, so I'll know how to do that next year. And um, so you want to clip uh, the flowering part of the plant in order to get it to do to grow the leaves. Here is basil. Basil's been doing great. I plucked off the flowering part already because someone told me to do that. You can clip those things back. You want to clip them back where the branches um, come together, and then it'll, it'll grow more out than up, which is uh, some advice I learned. Now, um, we have these tomatoes. And uh, the the camera isn't great with these tomatoes. It got this little fuzzy. It couldn't figure out what to focus on. So you need you know a camera with a lens, <laughs> with with a detachable lens, adjustable lens at least. Uh, these grew very small because they were in a small pot. Um, they tasted good, but they were you know about the size of a marble <laughs> when they turned red. So you need a big enough pot to keep the water in there so it can draw on the water when it needs it. But you don't need to water it. Follow the moon cycle on that. Uh, you can look up gardening by the moon on the internet. Here is another picture of them. Grew a nice lo a lot of them and I think they're all turning red about that size. So, But uh, I'll know next time. However, I do have another pot, a larger pot, of tomatoes that are doing just fine using and I've done this and I did this last year using 
the um, Gardening by the Moon principles. It's under, it's in the internet under Gardening by the Moon. I guess it's GardeningbyTheMoon.com, GardeningbyTheMoon.org, something like that. And you can figure out how to garden by the moon. It's best to put them in the ground. Here are the tomatoes that are doing well. This is, was July, and I'm just getting it out now. Uh, there's not much you can grow on the porch, unfortunately. Um, but you can you can grow um, tomatoes. You can grow uh, well. You can grow by gar by by using the water cycle, which is controlled by the moon. It, ra it r brings up the water from the um, ground, so it's accessible to the roots, and it gets into a cycle. Uh, the plants want to, and they're they're supposed to be a lot more um, reliable to come up. They're supposed to be a lot more definite as far as coming up, and um, you can get them to come up. Just get them and just plant them at the right time, um, just before the new moon. I think works. I think it's what I may have used. Here's another picture of the tomatoes, but. Um, you put them in the ground just before the new moon, and um, they also say the zodiac signs make a difference. But I found out you do not have to water them, which is easier. Just get a big enough pot. So the gardening's going all right. Um, I think I have some pepper plants, some hot pepper plants coming up. But they haven't done much yet. You you need it's best to get your vegetables off a porch and put them in an open area that gets a lot of sun usually, unless your vegetables aren't like that. And this is a picture of my brother. I just thought I'd end with that. So here's my little brother in a slot canyon. But gardening is fun. You don't need to water it. You just put it in the ground. If you have a pot. Um, make sure the pot's big enough. Don't have to keep on watering it every day. Um, make sure it gets a lot of sun, gets enough soil. You just plant it when the moon's gravitational pull is stronger. Some people say certain zodiac signs work. Or there's this one woman that says certain zodiac signs work. She's on the internet uh, under gardeningbythemoon.com, gardeningbythemoon.org, something like that. Well, um, it's good. Good to get some some fresh vegetables and and herbs and stuff like that. So I'm gonna look forward to my main tomato plant producing some stuff and works just fine. People don't think it would work fine, but it does. All right. Well, God bless and thank you for watching. Have a good day.